beautiful people out there. This is Kevin from CC Pipe, where we focus on productivity and pipeline for creatives. And today I wanted to talk to you about TOCs. And if you're not familiar, that stands for Table of Contents. And I think if you're working with InDesign projects, you will sooner or later end up making a Table of Contents. Um, however, it can be a hassle to put together, especially if you have a lot of inputs. Pages gets moved, removed, and uh, the order of things changes and so forth. But luckily though, InDesign can make your TOC for you. And why would you want that? Well, not only do you obviously save time automating a TOC, but it will also be updatable. And as a nice bonus, it will also create clickable links if you decide to export it to an interactive PDF. And uh, let's take a look at how to do this in InDesign. Okay, here we are yet again in good old InDesign. And uh, there is one condition for this to work, and that is having a dedicated or several dedicated styles for the items you want to include in your TOC. And in practice, that could be something like what I have here. This document has three different articles, and uh, this is how it looks. And it's just some lorem ipsum articles and there are also some subheadings in there. And every article name uses the H1 paragraph style. And uh, the subheaders, they use the H2 one. And uh, those are the ones we want in our TOC. By the way, I have created all the styles beforehand here, so just to save time. And uh, with that said, let's start setting up our TOC. This is where I want to put it. And uh, under layout here, at the bottom, we find our options. And uh, we start with clicking on table of contents. And uh, here we have all our settings and we can also reveal some more by toggling the more options over here. Now we can start from the top. These settings can be saved into presets, so that can be selected here, but we will not bother with that today. What we will be doing though is giving it a heading and I will write in in this issue. And as I said, I have the styles already set up for this, which I just picked from here. Next, our most important part. Here, we select what to include in our TOC. And I mentioned we want the article names, which uses the H1, and subheaders, which uses H2. I select them and uh, press Add. And for H2 as well. And it has already created levels, which you can see by the indentation. Now we can set up these on an individual level and with H1 selected over here, we can choose which style we want to use for the actual TOC items. And I want TOC H1 and uh, we want page numbers and uh, after the entry is fine here and a tab is fine as a separator as well, which I can control further in the paragraph style. And we can also use the character styles for both the number and the separator here. And just to show you, I have made some. One for the number, which will scale it and uh, give it a new color. And uh, one for the tab as well. And uh, I will show you what I did there in a second. Lastly, we can adjust the level over here if this isn't the hierarchy we wanted. I will also set up the H2 level. Select H2 over here. Just choose TOC H2 paragraph style. And I don't want page numbers in this case. And uh, no character styles either. Now, this should be ready to go. And we can just click OK. And uh, now we can just drag it out. And uh, there we have it. Now, if something changes, say A spread moves. Well, let's just move these then. Now we can go to Layout and uh, press Update Table of Contents. And now it's correct again. I also promised to show you how I got the dotted line here. And uh, that's in the paragraph style. Remember, we have a tab before the number. So in the style, under tabs, I have added a tab here. And also added a dot as the leader. Now, I usually find dots to be a bit large. So that's why I have the uh, character style dots, which scales it down to 50%. And uh, that you'll find under the settings and under advanced character formats over here. Lastly, just to show you, I will export this to an interactive PDF. And uh, that's Control E for export. And we choose interactive PDF as the format over here. And then we just choose save. And uh, this should just take a second. And uh, now if we find a TOC, it's on page two here, 
I can click on an item in it and it will take me to that page. And that's all I had for this week. Make sure to check in next week though for yet another new tutorial right here on CZ Pipe. Thank you so much for watching and uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. It helps me out a lot. And also if you have any productivity questions or suggestions for future videos, make sure to throw those in the comments below. Once again, thank you and until next time, have a good one.